Oh, hey there, little fella. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at Dismantled Director's Cut. Dismantled is another entry in the increasingly popular boomer shooter genre of games. The developer seems to have taken Doom and injected it with a hefty dosage of early Silent Hill and Resident Evil titles, then topped it off with a bit of sore body horror. This culminates in a chilling first person shooter experience that, while somewhat frustrating at times, absolutely oozes atmosphere, tension and dread. The game starts off with a fairly generic B-movie horror plot. You're driving through a forest when you suddenly experience engine troubles, a dead phone and a reason to walk off into the creepy wilderness to seek help. Something rapidly approaches from the darkness and before your brain has a chance to process things, everything turns black. You awake sometime later in a dimly lit room and quickly come to realise you are now part of some twisted experiment. Thus begins your attempt to escape and possibly figure out just what the hell is going on. The game runs on a heavily modified version of the Doom engine, so it plays very similarly, although I found myself playing at a much slower pace than old school Doom due to the creepy atmosphere and sheer lethality of the enemies, as the combat in this match was very unforgiving. Take a piece of cake, if you dare. In fact, I'd use the word unforgiving to describe a lot about this game because you will die a lot in Dismantled. Even trying to reach seemingly simple secrets can prove to be lethal. One of my biggest gripes about the game is how poorly key information is portrayed to the player, such as picking up key items as opposed to regular items. Every time you pick up an item, the screen briefly flashes green, but there's nothing to communicate to the player what it is that you just picked up. A few times I thought I had picked up ammo or a health item, and it turned out to be a key item that was required for progression and I just didn't notice. Some key items are also not visually distinct enough to stand out in the environment. For example, this puzzle involved rearranging some statues, which causes a key to drop behind you, and the key happens to be a very similar colour to the environment. The same puzzle in Resident Evil 2 plays a short cutscene showing the key item clearly falling and having the camera specifically focus on it, but no such thing is present in Dismantled, which makes some puzzles needlessly cryptic. This feels like the type of thing the developer could have easily corrected seeing as this is the director's cut version of the game, and improvements have been made elsewhere to improve the player experience. Full disclosure, I didn't manage to finish the game as I got stuck on the very final boss, but I think that counts as playing enough of it in order to provide a fair review. Dismantled starts off incredibly strong, but starts to fall apart the longer you play it. The plot or story is almost non-existent. There are documents scattered throughout the game which slowly drip feed you the story, but in my opinion the story isn't strong enough to warrant tracking down all of the documents, and just comes across as incredibly generic. So, overall, Dismantled Director's Cut is a genuinely disturbing horror experience that is bound to make you squirm, but is sadly let down by poor design elements such as frustrating enemies, confusing level design, and a weak story. It's hard to recommend, but at the same time it's cheap and a very unique experience that contains certain visuals that I've not come across in any game before. If you appreciate grim and disturbing aesthetics and incredibly punishing video games, this is definitely worth the asking price. If you don't appreciate those things, then there's not really much else within Dismantled Director's Cut that is appealing, so you should probably give it a miss. The developer is currently working on a sequel that I'll be keeping a close eye on in the hopes that some of the issues I had are corrected, as I'm quite curious to see just which dark and depraved depths this series can descend to. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you ever so much for taking the time to listen to me ramble on about video games, thank you to the developer for providing access to the game, and thank you to all my subscribers, both new and old. See you all next time.